what do you think of this? Don't you love it? Hello YouTube. Thanks for joining me. It's me, it's me, it's Diana Day. Good to see you tonight and thank you for watching my videos and subscribing. And you know what to do with it. Subscribe and like buttons. Send me some love. You know, people think that all I do is vintage and antique items and that's not true because this is going to be tonight's video. It is on a thrift shop haul that I have done, um, gotten over the past day or so, and I just wanna show you all some stuff. The first thing is this headlamp. Sorry if I blinded you. It uh, is perfect for walking dogs at night, getting under the car, fixing something under a cabinet. Um, you know, if the lights go out, it's perfect. It's got multiple settings, one is you know, kind of low, high, and then it blinks so people can see you walking if you're walking at night to avoid the daytime heat. So it's awesome. And I just wanted to show you that one. And it is heavy, so it's perfect, you know, for when you're out there in the outdoors. So the first thing I have is the Seller Entertain um, seven piece kit and set, it is actually a pitcher and the glasses, six glasses. The glasses are very heavy weight. Um, the pitcher holds 48 ounces, the glasses are 16 ounces, and it's perfect because when you're having a party or you're having entertaining guests on your patio, you don't have to get up all the time to go get something to drink. You just fill up the pitcher and you're good for a while. Margaritas. It goes with my margarita glass if you've seen my other videos. So, okay. And you can find this on Amazon. It's still listed. Um, the price is somewhere around $44, $45. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, I got it for a very good price, um, just a few dollars. And it was a good, a good find. I got these men's seven for all mankind jeans. And I got these for $4 and they are amazing. You know, Seven for All Mankind goes for roughly $160, $170 new. And so I will be listing these in my eBay shop. They're at $36.34 and they're a button fly. Sorry. So, there is a handheld wand scanner, pan digital. It is perfect for scanning, you know, pictures and documents and recipes and whatever you have you have that you need to scan into your, you know, computer. And it's very easy to use. You don't have to worry about having a, a printer that scans around. Just use one of these guys. And it can capture, um, eight and a half by 14 images and high resolution as well. So uh, that's perfect. The next thing I found for $5 is a Cuisinart two quart ice cream maker. It's actually makes sherbet as well. And it's going for 90, 89.99 still. So it, it was an excellent excellent find and it is very very heavy i will say that and um it takes 25 minutes homemade ice cream is the very best you can have and queen and art makes a wonderful product as always um you know their pans are amazing and i love it ps3 games first one Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It is a mature game. And um, it was game of the year, um, best game on PS3. And yeah, it's, you know, I like games and I'm a big gamer. So this is one that I got. Resistance Fall of Man. 
This is when PS3 first came out, and it's one of the first games that was out there. It's set in the 1950s. It's a first-person shooter game, and it is M for Mature. So, this is the one game that really got me started into gaming, and it's excellent. Um, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. This one is also a mature game, and um, you're exploring Rome, and it's a PS3 game. And it's um, beautiful graphics. It's about 15 hours in length. Um, as far as gameplay goes, and um, yeah, if you're into period, you know, games, this one's one for those people who like that kind. And Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, and this is um, Modern Warfare, uh, Call of Duty is one of the best-selling franchises in history, and personally, um, you know, I do like these kind of games where you kind of take out your frustrations on uh, in the game. So it's it's um, a first person shooter. It's also uh, you know a PS3 and it's a mature game. So just to let you know, I'll be listing these as well. I got. This little old tin log cabin syrup uh, tin, which is is awesome, and you know people collect a lot of these vintage tins, and this one's got a little bit of you know aging and rust on it, but it's really cute. It's um a hundredth anniversary tin, and it was um from 1987, so it's been around a long time, and I'm gonna put that in my store. This is a vintage thing, not a new. I have this, which I think was amazing. It is a Royal Dalton um, Grantham gravy boat, and it's all one piece. And they do sell it where it comes apart, but I think this is kind of a cool design because you don't have to worry about, you know, um, losing it or tipping it or dropping it. You know, it's all one piece. You just have to worry about the ladle. But it, um, Royal Dalton is a very good company. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a amazing piece. And they're selling for, I can't remember how much. I got this for an excellent price. And once I saw the, the mark, I was just like, okay, okay. So anyway, forgive me. I haven't, uh, I don't have a price on this like retail or online, so you can check it out. It is Grantham number D5477. Beautiful though. And this is the cutest thing. Don't you love it? That's my key phrase now. It is a five inch frying pan. It is perfect for a single person and cooking an egg an egg for one instead of an egg for young. And uh, it's just the cutest. It, it's perfect for camping or just making something small, you know? You know, melting a little chocolate or whatever you wanna do for a dessert at night. You know, you get that kind of craving in the middle of the night. So melt just something, melt some marshmallows and chocolate and smear it on a graham cracker. Make it a s'mores, you know? Okay, so the next thing I have is a Tibetan singing bowl. And if you've never heard one of these, it is very, very cool. It, uh, they are used by monks, Tibetan monks. And basically it has a tone which causes um, relaxation. And you know, it, it's something about it. it ancient monks use it still in Tibet and it produces a very rich and vibrant tone. Um, I got this for a very good price. It's got its own little box and I don't know why I can't get this back in here but it was, I don't know how it how it came originally but you know there's this little tie thing that hooks around the button so you can close up the box kinda. But it's very cute. 
the next thing I got were these two little, they were very, very tarnished and I can't, I have a mark on it and it says an M and it's in a diamond shape. Um, I'm not sure if they're silver. I did take some polish to them and I got a lot of the, um, the tarnish out of it, but they're very cute. They are a creamer and a sugar bowl and they're just adorable. Uh, you know, it's got this kind of um, hatch-like design, basket weave kind of looking design, but they're really cute. And I got those for a couple of dollars, actually. And the last thing I got, no, I will tell you. I have this, it's, I saw this and it's, it's like a cookie jar, but it is so pretty. It has like, you know, these greens and it almost reminds me of like, I think it's some kind of Japanese Raikou, Raikou, I think. But it's got a dragonfly on the lid, which I thought was the coolest design. And it's just flecked and this green is just something, I just love this color. So um, I got this, I don't know how it's gonna do, but we shall see. It's a very pretty color, and it kind of looks, you know, relaxing and zen-like to me. And the last thing I have tonight is this. It is a mohair throw, and it's actually made in France. And if you know anything about mohair, it is very expensive. Um, this one is a Toissaint Dior. And it was made in France, and they're still selling these. Actually, the bedspreads that they have, you know, for Queen and King are very expensive. And it still has a label, 100% mohair. Um, and I know that, you know, mohair goes for a lot of money. And it's perfect for when you're in a cold office, you can just throw it over your lap in winter. Or if you have air conditioning in your office, like I do, a lot of the women in my office tend to always be covered up because I think they get very cold in the summertime. So this is perfect. It's a beautiful baby kind of, almost a Tiffany blue, I think, um, color to it. But I thought that was awesome for $3. And even if you don't you know, need a throw or Whatever, you can always cut it down and make teddy bears or something. You know, people use all this stuff for all kinds of crafts like me. But I want to say thank you again for being here tonight. And I uh, hope to see you soon. And keep on watching. Keep on subscribing. Keep on liking. Keep on loving. I love y'all. Bye.